Ladies and gentlemen, fans, followers, enthusiasts, stakeholders, partners, welcome aboard 254 Cares. Na kumbia ni noma leo, nataka ni waneshe mambo na ito condom demonstration. I repeat, condom demonstration. And the reason we're saying we need to demonstrate how to use condoms is because we are cognizant that kuna watu ambao hawaelewi. Mambo ya condom hawaelewi. Mutu anavuta baroutine ni kama eh. Ni kama ni hizi za watoto. Hii kitu inakuwa delicate bwana ukiishikilia vibaya inaweza rarukia ukiwa kazini mtu wangu na itakuwa ni mbaya sana kwa sababu we are at risk of HIV AIDS transmission STI and unwanted pregnancy. So with us we have the beautiful 254 cares brand ambassadors tunaanza na Jacinta mambo vipi Poa sana Alafu tuko na Brenda mambo vipi Poa sana Na tuko na supervisor Fifi Poa sana Na tuko na technical expert wetu ametoka ametoka 1024 gigs anaitwa Antonio the icon I'm cool fine thank you Poa sana Antonio ameleta pizza Ndugu yangu Zumin Kwa wale masleku inajua mnajelewa hii kitu ni kazi yake ni gani <laughs> kwa kwa hey, unaona mm, na kwa wanaume unaona hii ni ile hii <laughs> ni ile opposite sasa tunaachia kina dada you need to take us through the motions kindly comment so tunataka kufanya mambo tunataka kuvalisha the condom so the first step is Tusaidia hapa. Kurarua, kurarua, kurarua. Rarua venye ona rarua anga mtaani. Hii kitu wakuna kurarua. I think the first step is you check the expiry date actually. Expiry date is third, 2024. Iko hapa chini. You check it. Mnona? Kwa hivyo usitumie baruti ambayo ime expiry. And then you feel it. Una guzo usike as kaiko na hewa ndani. Na hewa inamaanisha nini? Inamaanisha iko poa bado. Si ndio? It is good to go. It's good to go. But ukishika usikie there's no air, don't use it. Inamaanisha it's expired. Ama imekaa kwa olenje sana. Unajua yeah. ukikaa kwa olenje unaikalia nini? That means that the integrity of the condom has been compromised. Hallelujah. Amen. Sasa <laughs> tuanze kazi. And then tuna we tear it. Don't usitumie ulimi. Ah not ulimi. Meno, meno. Don't use your teeth. Usiwamlambe si kitu. Tuna tuna translate. <laughs> yeah and then continue. And then, and then, there is somewhere. Mm. There is somewhere ufai tu ku, 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 ku yeah. There is somewhere unafa uangalie. Naitwa thread. Yeah, thread. You are supposed to look at the thread. The serrated bit of the condom. Exactly. So Ndohizi, unaona uh, meno. Unashika meno, unashika meno. Usiogope. Unashika meno. Yeah. Unajua wanajifanya wajui lakini pale nyumbani ka. Ka ka ka. Pauko pakawa. Ndugu zanguni, pauko pakawa. Iko ndani. Nyinyi mnachelewa. Unajua shida ya kuchelewa ni fimbo inaanza. Bendera, bendera, bendera. Una equip company wali 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 Akina dada I hope you're taking notes This is a comprehensive master class Then after that You are supposed to hold up a juu Hewa isi ingie Exactly Then Una hold Then you You slide it down Yeah you slide it down Na usi achilie pale hewa isi ingie Exactly Oh yes, you just roll it down. Yeah. Na kuna ndugu yetu alikuwa anatuambia hizi hizi zinaitwa icon mtu wangu. Extra large. Extra large for those who are well and out. Alafu sasa hizi shoe bet ni zile za ordinary. Eh. Aya basi, you also need to teach the women and the people watching on our channel 254 TV how how to remove how to remove the condom. Yes. Kwa sababu gani? Kuvalisha ni kazi moja. But do you know, upon removal, there can also be contamination yeah, if you yeah. mishandle this. Yeah. So kindly show our viewers how to do it the right way. Wacheni kuogopa. Haya, we unajua. Let Miss Fiona show us her expertise in this arena. She's an expert. Expert. Unaishika na eshima. Eh, unaishika na eshima yake juu. Soviet or tissue? Soviet tissue neza jitolea kidogo. Haya. 
supposed to use serve tissue. Serve and tissue. No sim konom tu posio. Yeah. You don't use your hands. Don't use your hands, ladies and gentlemen. Eh, kwa sababu ujui, ujui, lakini unajua wewe ndio dada. Kwa hivyo imeingia ndani ya dada, sio? Yeah, yeah, hiyo ni kweli hapo sasa mmesema kweli. Eh, lakini wanaume umeambiwa pia msiamini akina dada sana. Ndio maana tunatumia CD. Shika na tissue. Sina mkono mtupu. Guy, I talk it. Na kwama eh. Ama mkono ndio ndogo, mkono ndio ndogo. Jembe ndio kubwa. Ehe, alafu panguza mzee, panguza mzee kidogo. Ah, ah, lakini mzee anapanguzwa na tissue tofauti. So this is so important ladies and gentlemen because you do not use the same tissue that you've removed the condom to wipe the honorable member of society. <laughs> Hallelujah. Aha, then you discard this in the in the dustbin. Condom si kitu ya kuflashiwa flashiwa ndugu yangu. So now with us we have a technical expert who's about to elaborate the female condom. Can I be honest with you, Mr. Antonio? Yep, sure. I have never seen a female condom ever in my life. I read about it, I've studied about it, but I've never seen it. How does it work? First, the reason why the female condom is not locally available as much is because of two aspects. One, the target clientele. Female condom is ideally targeting the sexual workers. It is believed sexual workers are at a space where they can engage in condom negotiation. When you work with these young girls, most occasions they will never want to use condom. And the cost of this condom, one female condom is equal to 50 male condom. So you realize any time you tear this, like today when we tear this condom, uh -huh. it's like we have told how many male condoms? 50. 50. Because this costs 150 shillings, divided by 3 shillings you get these ones. Because the male condom, each piece costs 3 shillings. So the government will focus on doing much of this than this because of the materials used and the cost of doing this. And also if you gave her, she's not going to use this. She'll tear it and call her friends and show them and they laugh about it and dispose it. Those are 50 male condoms gone. Anyway, back to the demonstration. If you look at the female condom, it has two rings. There's one movable ring from within. You don't have to remove it when you're using it but then it's just for purpose of demonstration. Then we have the bigger ring that is at the top which is permanently fixed over there. Now, how and when do you need to put on this condom? If you expect or anticipate that you're going to have sex in the next one hour or so, as a female, you're supposed to put this condom at least 30 minutes before intercourse. Why, why 30 minutes? As you can see, it looks very large and most guys would be afraid and concerned that it would not actually be able to enable them to enjoy or have pleasure. However, if this condom is inserted in a female 30 minutes before, it tends to absorb the heat and suck to the walls of the vagina, allowing it to seamlessly fit in her body and a male partner, when you penetrate, you'd not even be able to recognize that there's condom in this place. So, 30 minutes, one hour before, allows you to have this condom fit in comfortably and suck into the heat that is produced by the woman's body. So, in a hisi ya kwamba hakuna kitu? Hakuna kitu. In fact, if you had somebody who was drunk during sex, you'd never know or recognize that there was condom during intercourse. How do you put on this condom? You could either squat, raise one feet stepping on a raised substance, or lie on your back with your feet raised high, and then you insert the condom this way. Kindly zoom in, my brother. Taking your thumb, then you're able to push it all the way. And please, this does not mean it will come from the back. <laughs> this is just for the purpose of demonstration. So you see how this lies here. This partner is ready for intercourse with a willing partner. You also cannot put on condom and anticipate that tomorrow in the afternoon or in the evening you might have sex. Now ladies, the advantage of this condom is that if you put it on an hour or so before, if you feel pressed, you can just hold it from the back and still pee. You can still pee in the course of the day, in the, in the event that you felt like... Pull it to the side. You can just pull it to the side and shh, you get to have your way. But one of the things I want to warn you ladies, most of these men behave like easy forwards are matrizi, matrizi are madare. Usipoka chonjo, he can come with speed and lava skia mingia na service lane. So you need to be careful. When you are having this condom, 
make sure that you hold your partner and direct them to penetrate to you at the right place. Otherwise, kama hizi madhiri za Nairobi nitasukia mingilia hapa. Nganya. Juja road. Once you're through, just like the male condom, how you remove it is by one making sure you get tissue to hold it with and you rotate it once, roll it once, two, three times, and then you pull it out. Dumping it is bury, burn, or bin it. No toilet. Don't flush People condoms in the toilet. Bin, bury, burn. There's no flush. It's just bin, bury, burn. But the advantage of this condom, this is one of the strongest condom in the industry. It's stronger than the male condom. You are not going to experience condom bust. If you experience condom bust with this, come back to us. Let us do a study on you. Do any? Yeah, yeah. We need to do a study on both you. Actually, on you, the condom is fine. No, we do not encourage at any given point reusing a condom for obvious reason. One, infection. Two, because of uh, hygiene. I mean, if you have sex with this condom and you deposit your stuff in your semen inside here. Then you have to come back and continue operating in the same workstation. Isn't it just a messy place? Or in the case of sexual workers, if you say there is reusing, imagine client X left this place messy, then client Y has to come and use the same workstation with the same condom. Is that ideal? Ngori! Tough So we discourage reusing condom at any given point, and that's why the government and the development partners are making it important possible for you to have condom whenever, wherever you need it to be able to make sure we reduce the infection rate. I have a question. So you know how the female part is really sensitive? Does this cause any infections like irritation, burning? Because yeah. for us we're really sensitive down there yeah. and having to insert these things inside Will, be, will there be any... Well, uh, we have few cases where people say they are allergic to the condom, but then we have alternatives. There are different types of condom in the industry. There's condoms made of latex, made of rubber, and those made of skin. Skin? Yep, skin. Okay. Intestines, yeah, sheep. But then the point is to figure out exactly if you are allergic to rubber or you're allergic to bad sex. Several ladies for a long time have continued thinking they're allergic to condom when they're allergic to bad sex. That's another issue that we also need to debunk. What you realize is that when somebody is having sex, the notion has been driven that one shot, one condom. What if his shot is one and a half hours? What if the shot is 40 minutes? I think ukiona ina kauka, unafaa unabadi. Una change mas. You are supposed to regularly frequently keep changing the condom. You can go in 10 minutes you remove and badlish again. It helps you for two reasons. One, you reduce the chances of having a bad sex that is dry. You continue lubricating and three, in the moments you keep taking those breaks, it allows you to have a longer, more pleasurable sex. But most men believe one shot one rubber. So they are 40 minutes and the lady is crying the entire time. Not mourning, Ilea OA, the morning a M O U R. Mourning the entire time and you think you are having good sex. So the lady keeps avoiding you over and over and you're wondering why. It's because you had bad sex. And ladies, on the other hand, think that they are allergic to rubber. Sometimes ladies are allergic to bad sex. So guys. Yeah. breathing space Hey, have mercy. I mean, if you stay in plots, yeah? Mm. Sometimes you walk on a scare rabbi and a nuka It's because of stuff like that. Asante sana ndugu yetu Antonio. Yeah, you're welcome. That was it actually for me. Unless somebody has a question. Any question on condom? Questions from the floor. Female, questions from the floor. Even from the exhibition that she just did, the demonstration. If you have any question on condom, be it female or male, I would be able to answer it. I think you. the first question is, You've mentioned that the government is providing all these condoms. Today we're here in Madara and we're very grateful that Umekuja uh, Kutuletea all these uh, commodities. Now, uh, beyond this event, how and where can people find them in different parts of the country? I think the government has health facilities. Mm -hmm. There's a body called National AIDS and STI Coordination Program, NASCO. NASCO drives the distribution for condom in the entire country. And this is done through some office called CASCO. CASCOs are for every single county and they work closely with health facilities. If there's a youth center 
that is driven by government or a youth program initiative, they are able to walk to any health facilities and able to get condom from there. Any other youth groups like 254 Cares, for instance, can equally be able to get access to these condoms and have them in their own resource centers where young people can access them. Young people with means can also buy them over the counter. But government condoms are distributed by government institutions or you can get them in public institutions. Any parasitical government office, they call ministries, agencies or departments. Walk into their, uh, what you call the restrooms, mm. toilet, you'll find condom is already there. That is a good thing, by the way. Ukifika upata zimechukulia, it means guys are using them, which is amazing. We want them taken. The only issue we are having is logistical challenges of making sure they keep replenishing that over and over. That is what we need to work on. If the government or stakeholders or players who are involved in handling condoms can be able to make sure they replenish them over and above, then we are in a good place. However, those condoms should be used like that. They should be utilized every other day. I love it. Keep the conversation happening. We are on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at 254Cares, at Punguza KE. You can also watch this video and many more educational videos on our YouTube channel, 254TV. God bless. Keep safe. Now, Pamoja, Tukomeshe, HIV AIDS.